years to go today, right now, every one of us in this room know exactly where we were. But what we did not know is just like that song says, out of the ashes we rise. What we did not know is that 10 years later, here we would be together, rising up and giving praise to the almighty God, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We are so excited to be able to commemorate what happened and mourn and grieve for the losses, but more importantly, set our eyes on the future and say greater things are yet to come in this city because our God reigns. This church was birthed out of the heart of God. I can tell you today, looking at this, it was worth it. You would think I had everything, but I had a God-sized hole in my heart. I knew a lot about falling short. What I didn't know about was redemption, recovery. He gave me peace, a peace beyond any, uh, anything I could try and do on my own. And uh, if you're a New Yorker and you suffer from that slow burn anxiety, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Three o'clock in the morning, well, why am I so Well, I don't have that. You know, that was, that was cut away and I have the greatest friend in Jesus. The most amazing things that happened to me is coming to MSNY. I become a new creation in Jesus. I hope you can tell just by the, the, the way everything's uh, just kind of fleshing out this morning is that we value people. We value relationships here at uh, MSNY. We, we, value family, if you will. And so I think if you noticed every relationship and every testimony that was shared here was all about somebody reaching out. And we feel like that's the gospel, how God came down and he reached out to us. When I got a phone call from Pastor Rice, and this is him, it's, it's never quite predictable. He said, I want you to meet me in New York City. You bring whoever you want to bring, but meet me in New York City. And uh, that's just how he is. I said, wait a second, bro. Everybody's getting out of New York. You're going in. He said, that's exactly right. God's called us to go and serve. When 9-11 happened, and I looked at it when I was sitting there watching television back in Nashville, and, and it was almost immediately that I turned to my wife and I said, I think I'm supposed to go to New York City. And I was hoping for once, because she doesn't like me to travel unless it's necessary, that she would say, honey, that's not smart. But she looked at me and said, I think you're supposed to go. She said, what are you guys doing here? And, and uh, we just kind of said, well, we, we just came from Tennessee. And she looked, at me, she looked at us all. She said, I just prayed, God, if you're real, where are you? And here you guys from Tennessee show up. And she said, this city is open. What are you going to do about it? Wow. What God started, he's going to finish. We're not here by an accident. Yeah. You know, you have a choice in tragedy. Do you turn against God or do you turn to Him? One thing 9-11 showed us is that all religions are not the same. The God that told a group of people to get on planes and come here and hurt people is not the same God that spoke to us to get on planes and come here and serve people. 2,000 years ago, there was another ground zero. When you visit this ground zero of the cross, that's the sacrifice that doesn't just awaken your mind. It offers a new life and a new destiny for you and for everyone else. You may know that today at Ground Zero, a dedication ceremony is taking place to commemorate the opening of the national September 11th memorial. Because we felt that this memorial was a powerful symbol of God's redemption for this city, we have purchased a memorial cobblestone in your honor. 